Hello guys, welcome to Get Money Points US YouTube channel. And um, on this YouTube channel, we try to solve various challenge agents may encounter using the Money Points POS or directly on your wallet account. Okay, so in case you are watching my video for the first time, guys, I'm Olu Gotun Samuel Olamide. I'm a business relationship manager for Money Point Bank. Okay. And um, first and first, guys, I want to appreciate those that have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys, for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my appreciation goes to you guys. And for those that have not subscribed, please, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It will not cost you anything to subscribe. Just click on that button. You will see it under the video. Subscribe. Just click the button. And also, you can switch on the bell notification so that when we upload a new video, you will be notified. All right. So we make lots of videos, and um, these videos are free on YouTube. Okay. So subscribing is the best you can do to show appreciation for the content that we are releasing. All right. And also, I want you to like this video. I want you to like this video. When you like this video, what YouTube is going to do is that YouTube will directly push out this video to those people that are looking for it, that are searching it online. When you like this video, YouTube will keep pushing it to them. And trust me, you want a lot of people to have access to this kind of videos, all right? The same way you're watching it and it's going to profit you, you want a lot of people to also gain from this video, okay, guys? So by now, I believe you must have subscribed. All right, thank you so much for subscribing. And I want you to stay to the end of this video. I'll be sharing lots of information that you will not want to miss any part of it. Okay, very, very important. All right. And also, if you have a question, all right, or you have a challenge you're facing with your POS, please drop it on the comment section and I will attend to you on the comment section. And also, if you want to get a money point POS, you can message me directly uh will be available for that i'll respond very quickly very fast about it okay all right so let's go to the topic of today's video what is the first thing you do when your pos goes missing okay so you just wake up one day and you cannot find your pos or one day some guy just comes with gun and said oh yeah drop your pos or for one reason or the other you cannot get your POS, you cannot access it, your POS is nowhere to be found. You have looked for it, you looked for it, or it was stolen. Okay, so what is the first thing you do? What is the first thing you do? That moment you are under tension. Um, I want you to strategically follow the points I'll be giving you, so that you follow them one after the other. One after the other. All right, so the first thing you will do is that you log in into your account and you change your transfer pin. All right, this is very, very important. Why I'm saying this is that you don't know, um, you're not even aware who is with the POS. You don't know who took the POS, you don't know who stole the POS. So you don't know if the person knows your PIN. You don't know if the person has access to your PIN. So the first thing you want to do is change your transfer pin before you do anything, before you complain to anybody, before you contact your aggregator, or before you do anything. Log into your profile, your money point app using your username and your password. If you cannot remember your username, you cannot remember your password. No. I made a video on that. For the sake of time, I will not go into that. So you can pause this video and go and watch it. How to reset your password. Alright, so I will advise you to go and watch that video, then come back and continue from here. Okay, but if you cannot access your account now, anything I'll be saying from here will not really make sense for me because you will not be able to go about it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is access your account, log in, enter your username, enter your password. Maybe you wonder why am I not doing this? I've made a lot of videos on that, so there is no way I can now go back and start doing recap on this video it's our time will be going okay so you can pause this and go and watch how to do reset pin i've made a video on that how to change your transfer pin it's online it's on youtube just search it get money points POS. that's the name of the channel the title how to change transfer pin or how to reset your pin all right so you get the video watch them right so you change your pin so immediately you change your transfer pin you know that okay you've taken a first step that is now your money is going to go missing okay 
So the next thing you want to do is you want to contact your PRM, your business manager. You want to tell your PRM about it, okay? That the terminal is now missing. Don't wait until the PRM starts calling you after three weeks, after one month. That why are you not doing transaction? Then you will now start saying your PRS is missing. The PRM may not be so kind enough to now listen to what you have to say. So you have to contact the manager immediately when your terminal goes missing after this first step. This first step must always and should always be the first step. So after this first step, you then now contact your BRM, which is your aggregator. All right, my terminal is missing. So the aggregator specifically is going to tell you what you should do. Okay, usually you get, you get a swap. The aggregator can now tell you to go get um, a police report. A police report for the missing terminal. You now have to insure your POS. Make sure your terminal is insured. The insurance is one five. I made a video on how to do insurance. Sorry, I made a video on how to do insurance. How to insure your POS. So you make sure you've done insurance. Go to login. Go to POS. Select insurance. Do insurance on your POS. Go get the police report according to your aggregator. Now you've gotten the police report. What then is now the next step? Present the police report to your aggregator. All right. So from there, you can now process your swap. And from there, the swap will be effected. And from there, you get another terminal. Are you seeing the progression? Are you seeing how it started from making sure your capital was secure? Before you start going to say you want to change or you want to get the POS, make sure you secure what you have. All right. Then you can now proceed to contacting your aggregator, requesting for a police report, presenting it, waiting patiently, constantly reminding your aggregator for a swap. All right. So basically, those are the steps you should take politely when your terminal goes missing or when your terminal is stolen. All right. So I believe this video must have helped you and this video must have profited you. Remember, by now you should have subscribed to this YouTube channel you should have liked this video so that people that are interested in seeing this kind of video will have access to them, all right? So um, if you have a question, drop it on the comment section. Um, if you have a challenge you're facing with your POS and you want me to make a video on it, drop it also on the comment section and I will attend to your comment on this section, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm by name Olukotu Samuel Lamidi, Money Point Business Relationship Manager. Cheers, guys, and God bless.